Let's make some sterling silver jewellery together with all of the silver scrap that I've got in my workshop. Now, watching this footage back, I've suddenly realised I was pretty close to like smacking myself in the face with that apron. Needless to say, the apron goes on. Making a lot of jewellery all in one go can be pretty overwhelming. And this is me thinking about my life choices and also realising that putting that apron on just totally messed up my hair. But we are where we are and these are all the sterling silver bits and scraps and just like things that I've got lying around in the workshop that I just want to put together and make some jewellery. Here is the unveiling of my rolling mill and this is the tool that we're going to be using today to make all of this sterling silver jewellery elevated. Ignoring the rust on the rolling wheel, which I will deal with, this is the pattern plate that I have decided to use. And it's like this amazing flower. I'm really obsessed with it. To get the best possible impression into my sterling silver, when I roll it through the rolling mill, I need to anneal it first. And I do this just using my big blowtorch. When all the pieces are annealed, I then set my rolling mill to accommodate like the plate, but also make sure that that rolling mill is gonna really push the impression of that pattern into the sterling silver. What I love most about this is that you get a different piece of the pattern each time. So it's almost a little bit abstract. So the earrings will match-ish in that they've got the same pattern, but they won't match because they've got a different bit of the pattern, if that makes sense. And if you know me and my jewellery, that is just a thing. I'm afraid I'm not going to change on that one. To add a bit more detail, I decided to add some hammered hoops with some sterling silver kind of wire. And this means that it just like adds a bit of dangle basically to some of the earrings to make them a little bit more exciting. And here I'm just using like two sets of pliers just to align those two ends. And once that's done, I'll solder those and give them a bit of a hammer. I laid out everything here just to make sure that I kind of remember what I'm going to make. These are all the sterling silver pieces once they have been polished a little bit and it's time to add the earring hook wires. Now for this, again, I just take two pairs of pliers. I'm using like a pair of chain nose pliers or snipe nose pliers, whatever you want to call them, and some flat nose pliers. And I just open it by gripping both sides of that hook and twisting it to open. And then I can just thread on the sterling silver embossed pattern piece. This was actually really satisfying and I was kind of pleased that I recorded some of the earlier stages because I couldn't really remember what was going to be a pendant and what was going to be earrings but I think I kind of got there in the end. And whilst it seems that this is the final stage, actually it's not because I've got to photograph all of these pieces and kind of measure them to make sure people know what size they are because they're going to go on my Shopify website and I am going to sell them but not sell them at a regular price, I am going to sell them at a super discounted price and that's because I'm taking part in Super Seconds Festival, it's in September and I am so excited that I'm going to be able to offer more earrings this year because they were so popular in previous years. Have I made enough earrings? I'm not really sure but let me know.